video, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite takeout dishes, Harry Harry Chicken. That's right, we're going to give Nando's a run for their money because this recipe is so, so good. So Harry Harry comes from Portugal. It's this amazing spicy grilled chicken, and I know you guys are absolutely going to love it. But before we get started, don't forget to hit me up on my social media channels. I'm talking Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the lot. Go for it. And as always, if you're looking for the recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's get started. Let's start by making the sauce, aka the marinade for the chicken. And it is so delicious, you guys. You can spread that on toast and it's gonna be really, really good. And we're starting off with some red onions that I'm gonna give a chop. We have a sweet red pepper, which is gonna give us that glorious red hue. The juice and zest of two lemons. I love the brightness of lemons. And a ton of garlic. There's so much garlic in Perry Perry, you guys, but that's what makes it really delicious. Oregano, smoked paprika. And for heat, we're gonna go in with Thai bird chilies. They're the feisty red guys, and they're really, really spicy. So use as many or as few as you like. I'm going in with six today. A little bit of sugar to round out all the flavors. Salt and pepper, of course. And I know we already have a little lemon in there, but we're also going in with some red wine vinegar for a little acidity and some olive oil. And we're gonna blitz this until it's completely smooth. All right, this smells so good. Like the lemon zest and the juice, they're really, really coming through. Just wait until it's blitzed up. It's gonna smell even more amazing. So lid on. Ooh, are you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's, let's turn this guy on. All right, this looks pretty good. Okay, if I can get it off. <laughs> and, oh, like, come on, look at that color. It's insane. It's so bright and so fragrant. You can really, really smell the chilies now. And before we do anything, I think I want to give it a taste, you know? All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. So good. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing on the chicken. That being said, let me go grab the chicken real quick. So I'm using chicken drumsticks today. You can use any kind of chicken that you like. I particularly like these guys because they're tender, they're succulent. Dark meat tends to be yummier, you guys, so go for it. And I'm gonna pour about half of this marinade over the chicken. All right, I'm gonna give this a nice mix up. You wanna get it nice and coated in all those flavors. My goodness, it looks so good already. And now, look at that, look at that, like come on. So good. Give it a nice toss. You want all those flavors to get acquainted. And at this point, I need you guys to give me at least an hour. You want this to marinate in the fridge for at least one hour for those flavors to penetrate. But even better if you have the patience and do it overnight because it's gonna be the bomb. The flavor is gonna sink right through the meat and you're gonna be left with amazing, ultra deliciousness. So I'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna get working on the sauce. And we're gonna cook this out until it thickens, until the olive oil rises to the surface and the entire kitchen smells like Nando's. <laughs> My chicken has marinated, praise. That means it's gonna be delicious right down to the bone. And I've just lined a sheet pan with a little bit of aluminum foil and laid it out here. And it's gonna go into a super duper hot oven. I'm talking 450 degrees. You wanna blaze it up, okay? You wanna get it nice and charred on the outside and tender and juicy in the middle. And it's going in for 25 minutes. They are hot and ready out of the oven and it just smells so, so good. Oh my gosh, look at them, they're so pretty. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think it's time to give them a taste. Don't you think? I think it's time. Let's do this. Mmm, damn, come through. <laughs> Honestly, when you can make peri peri chicken like this at home, why bother even going to Nando's? Goodness, the flavor of this sauce is unreal. You get that huge hit of garlic, the brightness of the lemon zest and juice, but all of those flavors paired together, the smoked paprika, that little bit of sugar to round things out, it just makes everything caramelized and juicy and tender and spicy. This is what chicken should be. And in fact, you know, you don't have to make it in the oven. You can also make it out on the grill. It's super duper versatile. A dupe of Fernando's Peri Peri Chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up. 
chicken drumstick up. <laughs> you know how that makes me feel? If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a comment, question, concern, recommendation, you guys are very outspoken. Leave those things in the comment box below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.